Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have got two catch-up boxes from the locked library. I've got February's uh, Marches book. Um, it's a really, really good thing about the locked library is that two, it seems to be two months after the initial box, um, they will put it up on their store. So their store is actually on TikTok. If you follow um, the Harper Voyager store, um, it's on there. They don't actually have it on their webpage yet. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last for. I suppose it depends on how long it takes for the lock library to sort of sell out, be on a waiting list. At the moment, there's not. Um, it's pretty easy to subscribe. I imagine they had all these books made for the lock library. And then because the subscriber count was not as high as some of the other places um it meant that they had free stock available to go on for sale or maybe they reprint them depending on how popular the book is I, I don't know um but either way it's great i know illumicrate do release some of their extra stock but from what i've seen it doesn't seem to be for like quite a while like a year or so and by then everyone's either scrounged to get them on ebay or all the wiggles they've either scrounged to get them on ebay or they've moved on or got the book as a standard edition um and not everyone is like me who will buy multiple editions of the same book because they have a problem um again really well packaged um this is the first one that they did so it's filled with all of the black squiggles from their first couple of boxes before they seem to have switched to the um shredded book pages of like I guess printing mistake books um, and the February's book was The Thorns Remain and it was a beautiful book um I saw it I loved it um this is actually what made me find the lock library this in the February one I know that sounds really strange but um I was basically scrolling through bookstagram and someone had shared these beautiful pages and then the one on the February on the March's book and I was like hmm what is this how do I how do I get hold of these um and that is how I discovered them I have just swallowed a bit of like dust from the box oh lovely um yeah it's they're really beautiful editions I think I mean just look at all of that so the thorn remains on the front cover we've got a fey lord a mortal woman a dance with a terrible price and it's by jj a harwood it is a sunday times bestseller and on the back we've got something like music it curled around her heart and was pulling her forward the dance was waiting just for her so let's have a look at the rest of the book because they are stunning just like the first one that i got and showed you guys we have got some beautiful foiling on the front and then again, we've got the lovely key from the lock library. It's done by a magpie. Um, silver foiling. It's going to match with my other one if I remove the dust jacket. But I really liked the dust jacket on this because it's so pretty. Um, so I don't, and I actually have the other one with the um, sprayed edges facing out on my shelf because the moon and the birds were stunning. So um, there isn't any custom ish artwork on the inside it is just a continuation of the background from the front cover but it's still stunning i think and the story of this is 1919 in a highland village forgotten by the world the young people who remain after war and flu will soon head south to make something of themselves moira jean and her friends venture to the forest for a last night of laughter before parting ways Moira Jean is being left behind. She too planned to leave once, but her lover died in France and with him her future. The friends light a fire and dance, but with every twirl about the flames, strange new dances thread between, between them, music streaming from the trees. The Fae have joined them. Suddenly Moira Jean finds herself all alone, her friends spirited away, with the Fae led by the darkly handsome Lord of the Fae, feel left behind and forgotten too. They are out to make themselves known once more. Moira Jean must enter into a bargain with the Lord to save her friends and fast. For the longer they spend with the Fae, the less like themselves they will be upon return. If Moira Jean cannot save her friends before Beltane, they will be lost forever. Bewitching, 
threaded with highland charm and sparkling with romance this fairy tale will carry you away and that is why i was desperate i looked into this book afterwards and i thought ah oh, it sounds like something i would really really enjoy um i love fantasy i love fae um the highland setting sounds really really nice and i thought ah oh, i'll get it i'll get it um i had other things that i needed to pay for um and I was like, right, I can't really do anything until May. Because um, I'd originally planned to go to Comic-Con, which I then didn't do. So with my May wages that I would have spent at Comic-Con, I thought, I will order this book. Um, and then it went up, along with the Valkyrie, on their TikTok shop. And I was like, well, I might as well get the pretty edition with the sprayed edges and the foiling. And yeah. And I'm really hoping that they do, um, that they have enough stock that they put on the April's book because that was stunning as well. I mean, every book they've done so far has just seemed to be beautiful. And JJ Harwood is an author, editor and podcaster. She grew up in Norfolk, read history at the University of Warwick and eventually found her way to London, which is still something of a shock for somebody who somebody used to so many fields. Her first novel, The Shadow in the Glass, was released in March 2021 debuted onto the Sunday Times bestseller list and was a Barnes & Noble speculative fiction pick of the month. When not writing, she can be found learning languages, cooking with more enthusiasm than skill, wandering off into clearly haunted houses and making friends with stray cats. <laughs> yes! Yes, queen! You can also find her on the silly and sweary D&D podcast Lads on Tour. I'm going to have to check that out because I love D&D. Um... Especially if it's funny. Oh, I've just seen there's a ribbon. I'm not, I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm sure I read that all their books come with a ribbon. Look at that. It's red. Like the flowers on the front. Oh, this is pretty book. This is pretty. Is there? I don't think that. Oh, there is. We have, I was going to say the last one that we got has the author letter inside which i love because it means i don't have all these loose author letters flying around and hanging about when i'm trying to read the books so we've got dear locked library reader you are holding in your hands the very first locked library special edition the thorns remain might be my second novel but this book has a lot of first for me too the first time i tried to learn a language for a novel the first book i've written since i've come out the first book i wrote that made me tear up you're the first readers i'm the first locked library author and i'm really glad we can share this first Originally, Thorns was going to be a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but the moment I decided to make my fill in Fae, that plan went off the rails. Fae, fairies, the fair folk, the little people, the good neighbours, whatever you call them, they are fascinating. The original stories show Fae living like humans, tending livestock, feasting, celebrating. But there's an edge to them as well. Capricious and cruel, the Fae of the Scottish legends could bestow treasure on a whim or dance you to death. It's hard to know how similar the Fae are to humans, and how much is Vinnie hiding something ancient eldritch and too horrifying to comprehend. To me, this is what makes them so interesting. You never quite know which one you're going to get. The element of unpredictability was very fun to work with. The vol volatility of the Fae and their strangeness, their capacity for kindness and cruelty could take them, could take thorns in spooky and interesting directions. And anyone who knows me will know that those are my favorite places to go. I hope they they're some of your favorite places to go too. And she wrote this letter in November 2022. So they've been working on Locked Library for ages. Um, but yes, February was the first book. Um, they did well with it. The, the customizations from the get-go have been pretty. I am excited to read this because I love fantasy. A lot of my books are fae based Um, I also love that in fantasy, it doesn't matter like what you call them, fae, fairy, fair folk, little people. like. All of that, you know, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be fantastic and mystical. Someone's going to get snatched, probably. Um, it's great. I'm looking forward to this. I am a bit disappointed that I started a new book today now because I didn't realise this was going to turn up. Um, so I'm going to have to maybe like power through the, that and its sequel over the weekend and read this because I'm so excited. Um, so that is book one. And now for book two which was the valkyrie i believe i'm pretty sure yes i know it was i don't know why i'm saying either um oh it was this one that they switched to the shredded pages which i think is nicer than the little squiggles still just as annoying um dirtier because they're like page dust and now my bed is absolutely covered in page dust and me and yay 
so again packaged really nicely oh i managed to get this one out with like out much sticker damage to the paper so the kitties are gonna be super happy um and here it is kate hartfield the valkyrie this is the other one that i was super interested in so i'm really glad they released it i looked up the standard edition but let's be honest we all knew this needed to be owned by me with my love of spreaders. Um, I love the foiling. I'm a sucker for shinies because I'm such a magpie. Um, so pretty. Just love it. And on the back, we've got this. Again, all the shiny. It was a place for believing in gods and monsters, but what has made me shiver was that everyone was a god and a monster. And... <laughs> Oh, yes, I remember seeing this online. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at all that shiny. And again, we have... In fact, I'm going to just... Because I've got two of them out. Finish. It just looks nice. Right? It links up. Look at that. So pretty. We'll do it that way so so pretty i love that and like the little loopies it's just it's right up my street like oh but it does present the problem of what do i display do i show the edges or do i take off the dust jackets or do i keep the dust jackets at the moment spread is out nothing fancy um pretty front page though um okay let's put these back on just because i do have a cat on my bed and i don't want her to like get involved with things which she does sometimes so here we are brinhild is a valkyrie shield maiden of the allfather chooser of the slain but now she has fallen flightless in her exile gudrun is princess of burgundy a daughter of the rhine a prize for an invading king, a king whose brother Attila has other plans and a dragon to call upon. And in the songs to be sung, there is another hero, Sigurd, a warrior with a sword sharper than the new moon. As the legends tell, some are destined to be lovers, some fated as enemies, but here on Midgard, legends can be lies. For not all heroes are heroic, nor all monsters monstrous, and a shield maiden may yet find that love is the greatest weapon of all. So that sounds good. And then we have got... Kate Hartfield is the author of the Sunday Times best-selling The Embroidered Book, the Aurora-winning novel Armed in Her Fashion, and the Nebula shortlisted novella Alice Payne Arrives, along with dozens of other stories. Her interactive action projects The Road to Canterbury and The Magician's Workshop were shortlisted for Nebula in game writing. Kate lives in Canada. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I like Norse mythology. Oh, the ribbon. It's, oh, every book has a ribbon, and I just forget it exists even though i've literally just had one like five seconds ago that is my favorite color oh the top of the edges are purple i thought that was a blue but then you can go there and it's purple and it's pretty and i love it and oh my god ah yes i i'm excited for this because i like norse mythology as well i pretty much love all mythology to be honest with you um and anything inspired by that like nordic asian greek roman it's cool i love it and then we have our letter inbound and we've got i can hold the page open very well dear locked library reader sometimes i think of stories as wooden chests or streamer trunks big ones bound with leather straps or ornate metal bands in the darkest corner in the back room of the story shop there's a chest with a faded painting of a dragon on it if we blow off the dust opening the creaking lid we find treasures and storytellers have left, left behind. Like take a penny, leave a penny. Near the top, a golden ring catches the light. We dig down and find ballet slippers and an opera scores. Deeper still are medieval manuscripts. The reds and blues of illustrations still vivid. Rose petals turn to ashes in our hands. It's hard to say where the bottom is, but our hands close on stones carved with runes that intertwine with pictures of monsters and warriors. As with any jumbled trunk, the objects in this one don't all fit together. Among the wooden dolls, we find kings, generals, and princesses who live centuries and many miles apart. Can they possibly all be in the same story? Is this one a queen, a witch, or a supernatural being? 
The story I've retold in The Valkyrie is old and has many versions. It has been historical fiction, a retelling for as far back as we can trace. It influenced the stories I learned as a kid from Bugs Bunny cartoons to fantasy novels. When I started rooting through the trunk, I found a passage in an old poem about the way two women looked at each other as if they couldn't look away. That's when I knew I'd be leaving and telling of my own in the trunk. I'm so pleased to share this with you and I'm thrilled it could be part of the locked library. So lovely. I am so excited to read this. I'm excited to read both of them. They are such pretty books. Like the foiling is stunning on the edges as well. I love them. I, I love the sprayed edges so much though. Like I think I'm going to have to keep the dust jackets on and have the sprayed edges out, which is really tough because my shelf that has the sprayed edge books is filling up really, really fast. And I'm going to have to reorganise my bookshelves and I do not have the space, but that's not going to stop me. Um, I'm looking forward to reading them so much. I'm so, so excited that the Lock Library put them back up for sale outside of their monthly random box. Um, I have also noticed if you were interested in their monthly subscription that they have stopped posting spoilers of their books on Instagram. Um, I was like, oh, I haven't actually heard from them for a while. Like, they've not posted anything. What's going on? So I had a look on their Instagram um, and they did post a theme for June, but they haven't posted any spoilers as of yet. Touch wood. Um, I did scroll back after getting the May book and I didn't see any spoilers other than the slight reveal of the moon on their sprayed edges. So I think, I don't know whether they've had complaints or whether people have said, hey, maybe you should leave the books as a surprise for people because people might like sign up and then unsubscribe if they think it's a box that they don't want and get a refund. Um, so leave it as random, which I think is better because that is the whole point of a subscription box, like a loot box like this. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, and it should be left to a surprise because people are going to look at researching the books if you spoil them like i am super guilty of doing that as well um they look at the books if you've had an advanced reader copy and it's not been for that person people might not buy it um especially where the lot library seems to be early editions and early releases of books that are up and coming i think both of these were released earlier than their actual months, um, not by a lot. I know certainly the May one was, and um, that that was that was an early release before general publishing to everyone. So only people that had read the advanced reader copies had read them, um, and sometimes they're not great. Like people sign up for advanced reader copies for things they just type in their general sort of genre that they like, and then they'll get sent whatever that's kind of related and slightly close to that um and it's hard i think to sort of when they're spoiling books like that you kind of want to go and look it up and be like hmm, what is this book about do i want it do i really want to spend like that 25 a month on a book that i have spoiled for me and i'm researching and then i'm going to get myself wound up by knowing that it's not been great in advanced reader copies and there's been a lot of times where i've read books that have had bombed reviews um for advanced reader copies and it's actually been like a really great book um but that is that's my opinion um really really happy with these two books i'm so so glad that the lock library are putting their extra stock up and they're not leaving it like a year or so like illuma crate or fairy loot um that they're putting it up within a couple of months before all the hype has died down um it's just it's a good it's a good thing i think it also stops at the moment the major resale value like because obviously the only way to get these books is to get them through locked library or especially with Illuma Crate and Fairy Loot to get them through eBay after they've been sold most people aren't gonna want to wait a year like I got Little Thieves I got it as a Christmas present my mum got it for me she got it from eBay and got it for a bit of a steal considering how much the other copies go for and then last month, they Illumicrate put it up on their store as a 2021 box for in 2023, like two years. That's that's a lot. Um, and people just aren't going to wait for that. Like the people that want it have probably already got it at that point. So I think what the Locked Library are doing with that, obviously there will be a resale value for them later if you're that way inclined, um, because they're not going to have an indefinite amount of these books. They, they are going to get to a point where actually they decide that they're done 
making editions of that or they had a set amount of stock and, and it didn't sell in the monthly so um yeah i i think it's great follow them on tiktok um so that you get the updates for instagram and tiktok they put their updates on there for when they're putting stuff live on their store so if you are interested in any of these um you can still get them they are still in stock um i only purchased them like five days ago so they are there um yeah it's great that they're doing that and the one that was released in april has like a library shelf on it and it looks so pretty and it's all books and i really really hope that they put it up on the store because i want all of their books i've decided they are stunning <laughs> um so thank you for watching if you liked this video um please subscribe to get a notification of when i go when i put up my next videos um which will probably be a luma crate now i feel like um I know May has been very video heavy for me, which is quite unusual. I've had a lot of books come out this month that I was not expecting because they were supposed to be like April or March and they kept getting delayed. And I know Legends and Lattes, but I've had an email to say that's on its way. So that's going to be a video for that soon, probably. Um, it's probably going to be really dull going forward after after June's... Uh, no, May, Illuminate. <laughs> Because we're in June and May's Illuminate hasn't turned up yet. Um, it's going to be really quiet from June onwards, I feel like. But I will keep posting my latest requirements for books. Um, let me know what you think. Like, are you impressed with the Lock Library? How they're doing? How do you think? Outside of, obviously, the fact that Illuminate and Fairy Loot have items. Um, what are your comparisons to their books? Do you think they're just as pretty? Just as stunning? The customizations? Um, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video let me know drop a like and i'll see you next time bye